Hello and welcome to Be Open. I don't know why I joined at Indianapolis. In I'm a little nervous. I didn't get as much practice as I normally like to get. Um, Unless y'all want to just wreck each other on but, our But uh, feeling pretty good. I had the fastest time in the open practice session ahead of time, and that was a surprise. Did not see that coming. But uh, let me adjust my volume. My volume's all wrong. Someone <laughs> overcooked it a little bit. Gets into Gavin's in this race, and there you go. which is cool and funny because uh, so today's the day of his uh, hosted yeah. event. <laughs> so it's not going to be the last time that uh, we race together today. Assuming he'll be out there at his own event. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Excuse me, sirs. I'm starting a video. Uh, I just chose to uh, start in the quote-unquote back because, um, you know, like I said, not as much practice as I would have wanted, but uh, back ended up being mid-pack. So that's a little scary. But I guess we'll just kind of take it easy, leave room. Hopefully do okay. Uh, hopefully don't make a dank out of myself. Make a butthole out of myself. <laughs> Look like a jerk out here. Um, is my is tab not working? What's happening? Hello? Marco? Polo? What's happening? Okay, I guess I can't see my session last lap. That's curious. Thanks, I racing. I guess. Why isn't weird? That's weird. Okay. Well, that's a shame. I really would like to have my session last uh, lap up, but I guess we're doing it in Gavin style, in the way that uh, he doesn't use the delta bar. <laughs> it's funny. Um, uh, I haven't. Uh, I usually don't have all that much luck in the B cars, to be honest with you. I don't know, just something just never seems to work out for me. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just don't, I don't have an explanation for it. But uh, theoretically, I should enjoy these. They're not, uh, you know, glued to the ground with downforce, like, you know, the A car or anything. <clears throat> so that's nice. It's uh, just feeling a little, just feeling a little nervous. Had some rough races recently. Um, I kind of, I kind of did a couple of uh, just for fun races uh, on my own, and had a couple that went pretty good. I did another one at uh, Arca at Milwaukee Mile, and really like uh, committed to that third gear thing. What the? Okay. Hi. And really committed to that third gear thing, and uh, got myself a second place. I think I was like the number one though, so um, that's not a very, that's not very impressive. But uh, uh, it was still pretty cool. I felt like I had good pace in that one, and I was competing for the win. I w the guy wasn't like super far away, so that was fun. And uh, hopefully this one will go well. We're the number three, which is kind of surprising because I thought we'd get a uh, kind of like a middle of the day race. So uh, I thought we'd get some more participation on a on a weekend, or I guess it's Friday, so not weekend, but. Uh, anyway, stop talking about that. Start talking about racing. We're not talking about racing. Focusing on racing. Green, green, green. And, uh, like I said, give some room because it wasn't really necessarily... Oh, I am going slow. <laughs> I wasn't necessarily in a big hurry to be in the mess, so... Outside. Uh, I'm really trying to pass people. I'm probably going too hard, I guess. Are you taking three wide right now? What's that guy doing? <laughs> we, just got, we got lots of people going very different speeds right now, and that's kind of freaking me out. This uh, number four is pretty aggressive, so I'm kind of hoping we get him by us. Hold 
Outside. Alright, Still there. Next car is done. Still there. Hmm. I don't know. I, uh, I don't feel very comfortable. Still there, hold your line. Outside, clear. These, uh, B cars always feel like... There's a wide range of how you can run it. Like, it feels like you can push it so hard. Like, there's a lot of risk you can take. But is it always a good idea? Eh, probably not. So, uh... I'm just trying to find some space here. Um... Because there's like, I don't want guys running me over. There's guys getting close to me from behind earlier, and I did not want to be part of that. Did not want to get run over or anything, so. Just trying to leave space. And uh, being put side by side. But I think we've kind of maybe found a spot here, for the most part. I uh, have very little experience with like like tire saving and stuff in these cars so I'm probably doing a horrible job with that um, something like the Arca car I've done enough where I can like feel stable and feel like I know how to control it and then once you kind of get to that point you can start worrying about things like tire saving a little bit more these cars I'm a little bit too worried about uh, just driving them first and I gotta worry about tire saving later because uh, first things first you gotta be driving it safely. So. Uh, these guys are getting loose out of the corner and stuff. Okay. That's that guy. I could be super overdriving right now, I just, I really don't know. Don't really want to pass this guy yet. I'm kind of just looking for, like, a, a solid, respectable run here. I'm not really out here trying to do too much. Because, uh, I don't do these enough, often enough. I feel like I, uh, need to be running super hard and all that. Sorry, I'm nervous time. <laughs> Things happening in front of us here. Outside. Go low. Outside, clear. I do like the setup. We got OSR setup. Um, does feel a little unstable, but it feels, uh, you know, I kind of did a couple things to try to help with that. I got my steering offset um, around to a place where I normally prefer it, where the wheel's a little more straight, and that makes me feel a little bit more in control. I bumped my force feedback up on my wheel. Um, that helps, like, the floatiness kind of feeling I've been having, which, you know, this car always seems to have that, but, uh, I swear, <laughs> Indianapolis always feels, like, super floaty anyway, on top of everything, because, uh, I don't know, I guess the surface... I, I've said this before, and people are like, no, you're, you're wrong, you're dumb. <laughs> but it's like, there's like, it's not, there's not very many bumps on the surface, I don't think, and it makes it, like, feel extra floaty. It's just a, a well-maintained track, <laughs> I guess. That makes it not seem, uh, makes it seem like you're driving on air, on clouds. So, uh, I want to feel a little bit more, so I kind of, like, bumped it up, and I usually do that with the, the B car anyway, like I said, so... Uh, we'll see. Sometimes these B cars, you really end up wishing you were a little easier on throttle, or at least I do. Um, later in a run. Because, uh, they can, a lot of times, end up getting looser as the race goes on. So, kind of thinking about that, too. Although it is feeling more tight as we're going on here. 
that might be more of what we start experiencing this time around. Try to maybe be a little more aggressive on exit. Can I get my session last lap? Why is it not working? I'm hitting tab. That's weird. I don't know why it wouldn't be working. Hmm, you definitely have to be easy on throttle. Um, just with the setup. The oh no, yellow flag. I forgot. That's a thing that can happen. Ew. What do we do? It's only lap 8. Fifteen. Oh, we can't. Oh, we obviously can't make it. We got three sets of tires. I don't know. I'm gonna see what other people do. I'm not very uh, good with strategy yet, <laughs> so I'm liable to make very stupid mistakes when it comes to strategy. Looks like Gavin's all right. That's good. He wasn't in it. He started uh, catching up to us. I think. I was probably too aggressive off the start, probably took unnecessary risk. It's like, I, I wanted to start in the back and just ride, but like being the number three and a whole bunch of people not qualifying, I just ended up right in the middle of it anyway, so it kind of makes me wish I had just started up front. That's kind of the tough thing about being a low number. If you want to take it easy, like you don't really get that option, whether you want it or not. You don't get to start in the back. You're like, nope, you're right in the middle of it. You're in the middle of the... well. I was going to say in the middle of the hurricane, but the middle of the hurricane is a good place. So, um, the middle of the tornado. There you go. <laughs> that was like the worst analogy. Yeah, it's like you're in the middle of a hurricane. Well, the middle of a hurricane is actually the eye of the storm, and, you know, there's no storm happening. So, not a great analogy. Zero out of ten. But we are nine out of sixty in terms of laps. And I don't know what that means in terms of fuel strategy and stuff. What do I want to do? I'm going to watch these guys. I don't know what tire wear is like. Because I'm woefully un <laughs> underprepared. What are these guys doing? Looks like everyone's coming in. And it would be great if you actually like caught up to them, you know? So, uh, oh, Gavin's staying out. That makes me think tires are a bad idea, so I'm going to take those off, and what I'm going to do is just fill the tank up, go to the back, and ride like I wanted to from the start. So we'll have an extra set of tires, we'll have a little bit of fuel advantage. Maybe we can stay away from the people running into things a little bit. Find out. It's a bad decision? Probably. But it's the decision I've already committed to, because you can't back out now that I've sat here in the spot in the pit stall for 30 seconds, so. I think we got guys with maybe some damage coming out now? I don't know. I don't know if that guy has damage or not. It's, uh... I don't have tires, so I don't want to get run over either. So I want to make sure there's no one behind me. Up, single file. Catch up, 15, car. How much? Nine point eight gallons. Oh. Adjust my volume a little bit more. I'm sorry, I should have been more prepared on that front too. I'm just unprepared in every kind of way. I found myself really enjoying Indianapolis though. Um it's any car that comes here, I've kind of enjoyed in, in, in its own way. Even the time I did a next-gen race here, I was like, hey, that wasn't actually so bad. So uh, I'm kind of realizing I kind of like Indianapolis. That's cool. Not going to make it on fuel from here, obviously. Not when you have to say whatever it said, like nine gallons. Ten gallons. Ten gallons. So <laughs> that's not happening. But. I don't know, maybe this person thinks they can. Because they're sitting all the way back here. Can we... I mean, I guess... Don't be impatient. We're going to catch up to the field. We're fine. Catch up, be impatient. One left to green. You're on the outside this time. Just going to ride in the back. People really warming their tires up. 
They're gonna go. Taking the chicane down the straightaway. <laughs> Alright. Well, at least uh, whenever you got uh, pit stops during the caution, it makes the caution feel so much shorter. Which is always nice. Uh, lower tires, 94, 95 on the right sides. So, maybe you could back it down just a, just a tiny bit or something. I don't know. That's not bad, though. So, I, th I think it was a good idea not to take tires. Maybe that extra set will come in handy. We'll see. Not going to be hanging back. Trying to stay out of messiness. And then maybe once the uh, field spreads out a little bit, goes a little more single file, then maybe I'll start moving forward if, I, uh, if I'm if i feeling the itch. <laughs> Can't just sit in the back the whole time, I guess. As much as I would like a casual Sunday drive sometimes. Especially after uh, the rough races. I was talking about recently, like, when you got a tough string of races... Sometimes all you want to do is just finish a race, you know? It doesn't really even matter where you finish. Just finish with a clean race car. And it's just it's nice, a nice reset for the, for the spirits. <laughs> You're like, alright, finish clean. Thank you. Okay. Not a great jump, but wasn't really trying all that hard either. And watch out for... Uh, Messiness. Why are we slowing down so much? Holy smokes. <laughs> We're not even up to speed yet. You don't have to hit the brakes that hard. Just watching ahead. Trying to get a good view. I'm just driving this like kind of a super speedway here for a second. Because... That's, I'm seeing some scary stuff up there. I'm going to leave some room. That guy's getting in the wall and stuff. Yeah, let this, let, let this even out a little bit. I'm just going to take this race super cautious. That's what I'm in the mood for right now. Kind of getting the single file a little bit. Everyone's a little too close still, real right now. I don't think we're gonna go green to the end. I don't have that. I don't get that impression. I could be wrong. Lack of experience in this uh, series, so. This guy's uh, a little bit loose or something. I'm gonna try to get a run on him. You take this guy off. Keep low. Clear outside if you want it. All right. One at a time. All right. Deep breaths. Calculated moves. I overdrove that by accident. You know, I'm taking it so soft. <laughs> I still overdrove it just because I just didn't get on the brakes as hard as I needed to. I don't like not being able to see ahead of me. That looks like three wide almost up there. Smoke. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Where there's fire, there's owl. That hurt my skin. It burned me. Talking about. Massive run here, but I don't want to go for it. Not quite. 
kind of just want to try to get a nose on exit whenever I can rather than do anything else. This guy's starting to come up on me from behind though. Yeah. Outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear. Okay, come on that time. Really wish I had that session last lap. I've become reliant on it. Which, you know, it's probably not good. I think it's good for me to quit looking at a green and red bar at the top and focus on the road. And I generally feel like it helps me out. Okay, Colton, gaining on this car. The gap is 0.6. I guess I had no idea if I'm being good to the tires or overdriving. It's not a not too familiar with how this car works, so. I should be. It's not like I've done like no races in this car. Just far fewer than something like the Arca car. I got kind of loose. It's cool with me. Well, it's kind of getting tight now. This guy's kind of hitting the wall. M and M's. Like he had to lift off pretty hard not to get into the wall there. Mm, we're gonna go for it. Outside. Stay low. Stay low. You don't really have to push too hard once you get down here, I don't think. It I don't know, he's gonna fight. There is a car on the high side. Feels like just the virtu by virtue of being on the low side, you don't really have to fight too hard, like get on the gas too hard when you're down there. Just hold your line down there and kind of just make your way past. So. I don't know. Probably played it too safe and lost too much uh, time. But, uh, just having some fun. Just having some fun. Never been, I don't think, to this exact combo before. So, getting kind of used to how it feels. We still got a long way to go, too. And, uh, if it goes green, and we do still have to deal with green flag pit stops, so that's a thing. It's getting loose. It would be nice to be in the draft. It's probably losing us some time, just not having someone to follow. I won't get the curve too much. I wonder if Gavin's doing all right with the uh, oil and water temps, because we're both using the OSR set, and it had by default 70% tape, which on first glance just seems like a lot to begin with. And then while I was in practice, it started saying like, oh, your water temp's getting high, and then as I continued running, it started saying, your water and oil temps are getting high. And so that scared me enough to... Uh, move my tape down to about 60% instead. And I haven't had any issues. It hasn't said anything about it. Ooh, it's getting kind of tight. I don't like that. Break a little more. Uh, I just I don't want to mess with any of that. <laughs> I would rather lose a little bit on the straightaways the whole race, as bad as that is, uh, than blow up. <laughs> so, I just uh, took that a little extra safe. And, uh, I mean, so far, he clearly hasn't blown up, and he didn't pit 
the first time in either. So he didn't have to come in and adjust the tape or anything. So it must be okay for him. Could be that the practice session was, you know, I don't know. It was a different uh, temperature or something in the weather. Here. Really wish I had session last lap right about now. I think I've had this issue before where just like I hit tab and nothing happens. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why that would be the case, but why have you forsaken me? I wonder if there's another way to get it to come up. Probably not. I feel like I'm going really slow, but I think I am slowly catching up. Probably would have been good to take uh, tires, I guess, at this point. Because we're not going to use all three sets by the end of this one, probably. But we didn't know that. Could have started being a caution fest. Glad it's not. Always better whenever it's uh, not a caution fest. Especially when I'm <laughs> not part of the caution as I got loose there. Reeling and Gavin a little bit. We're usually pretty similar pace, it seems like. I remember one time uh, I watched Gavin do a Richmond race and he finished like just about the same spot as I did and uh, I was like man it, it seems like we like just run the corners the same way and everything so it was an ARCA race and so obviously no cautions and so I just out of curiosity I went and saw what the uh, average or average lap time or whatever was for both of us, and it was exactly the same down to the thousandth. <laughs> that was pretty funny. It was a Richmond Arca, so cautions weren't messing with that much. And obviously, uh, average lap time is not the best indicator of actual pace, but just thought that was a funny coincidence. wonder how my car would feel right now if I had taken tires. Huge gaps between people right now, for sure. Man, I almost wanna... I think I'm gonna put my brakes back further. I'm not getting the rotation on braking as much as I would normally like. I already have the brakes back pretty far, but... I'm usually pretty aggressive with that. And we're just gonna go like that and see how that feels. And then remember, if we do get a green flag pit stop, not to die. <laughs> not to die on entry. Ooh. Okay. So I'm getting the run. Oh, run off! Wow, it's getting more loose. Okay. So apparently the right or the right front, yeah, the right front is uh, burning off faster, but looseness is still gonna be a thing to worry about. Got a little bit of a battle maybe brewing up there. Gotta be patient on, thro on throttle now, because it really is starting to turn sideways on me whenever I'm on the gas. How far ahead are the leaders? It's got to be a big number. Yeah, look at that, 16.4. that back where it 
spot. Long straightaways here, thankfully, so I don't have to do it during corners. There we go. Hey, Gavin made that pass while I was messing about. We're on our way. Be there soon enough. I'm gonna go ahead and just go until uh, I need to stop, I think, because I feel like I'm just horribly underdriving. Well, no, I, I didn't take tires the first time, though, so maybe I shouldn't. Hmm. I'll think about it some more. We'll listen to like when the leaders and stuff fit. That'll probably be just a decent enough time. Not try to do anything too crazy with the strategy, just uh, kind of come in when others come in. Join the crowd. It's probably my best option. Crew chief's kind of quiet. That's why I was having some trouble adjusting my volume. I felt like my crew chief was super quiet, but the other sounds were fine. Normally it's balanced pretty well. Gotta take a look at that maybe. How much uh, arrow push is a thing in this car? I don't actually know. Pretty sure I'm just getting tight because of older tires. But it did feel like it was starting to whoa, starting to happen as I got closer to this guy. Just having some issues. Tires are must be just really bad or something. It's like a college racing scheme, isn't it? That looks familiar. I think it's college. Oh, breaking really early. He was planning to let me buy, but just didn't say anything about it. Oh, probably help if I had that on. He probably said, "Oh, take the inside here," and I was like, "I didn't hear it." I didn't hear a darn thing. I always do that. I uh, mute it because I'm trying to start the video or something and then I don't remember to turn it back on. I'm missing stuff. Boring race. You're still watching. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I know there's not much to look at right now. We overdrove it. Holy smokes, what am I doing? Oh, overdrove it. Oh, man. That is a bad corner. First, I drove in too hard and didn't get it turned in, and then to try to make up for it, I hit the gas too hard and, and Got loose on exit. Up on here. That's not how to be fast. Home. Should be about 14. Fuel left. Seems like everyone's kind of stretching it a bit. Wonder if there's going to be problems entering the pits. That might cause a caution. Could be. heard the crew chief say anyone's pitting, so it's probably a little early still. I haven't done the numbers or anything, but probably. Definitely feel like I'm underdriving. Like I, I feel like I could definitely be getting more rotation. Oh, there's some guys pitting there. At least one. A little early for me. Like I said, I'm kind of listening for that uh, the leader is pitting now message. 
seems like a safe enough time to do it. And uh, if uh, Gavin's my litmus test for uh, tire saving, it seems like I'm catching him. So, presumably I'm doing okay with tire saving, although he's kind of just maintaining right now as well. He's, uh, he's another person that's still on the original tires, so. Whoa, okay, that was really loose. when uh, Gavin plans on coming in. There's some more takers. This one. Just gotta remember to be easy on that uh, throttle. Let's start a push. Alright, I think it might be time to come in regardless of <laughs> what others are doing. Don't like the way that's feeling at this point, so. did it. I almost did the thing I do. Nine point one gallons. Putting a little bit more in there than we need. Did two sets the of tires. Box in, ah, five, two sets of tires. Yeah, let's put eight four, tires on it. Three, Genius. Two, one. Box now. Okay. Hey, we're on the Gavin strategy then. <laughs> That's cool to me. Can we be on the uh, pit exit here without messing it up? Okay, careful here, because this is scary. This pit exit is. Okay. What have we got going on? Clear up top. Top. Watch out for this guy because he's going to have to lift harder, assuming he's on older tires. Don't spin in front of me, please. Hello, goodbye. Go low. Outside is clear. Fitting? Okay. Aha! Gained some time on Gavin there through the pit cycle. Probably because I almost sped on entry of the pits. <laughs> I pushed it probably too hard. Too hard for my own good. <laughs> oh, this car is so unstable. It's fun though. This has been fun. Uh oh. Uh oh. We got a guy uh, spinning. Okay. They're spinning on uh, pit. <laughs> the pit lane over there. That's not good for them. Uh, it's their lap car though, so they're not even going to be a spot for us. That's too bad. Interesting, uh, interested. The worst fucking car I've ever fucking driven. It's set up as trash. <laughs> Ooh, he's my Oh. Uh -oh. What was I saying? I got distracted by that. Dock open. Yeah. Ah. I forgot what I was talking about. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, see where we cycle Bringing out. up the rear, buddy. I fucking can't keep it out of the wall. It's just fun out place. I don't know. I'm just trying to do a little adjustments to it. It's just not working. Be a little more. Well, I was going to say I'm going to be a little bit more uh, aggressive on exit, but it got loose so late in that round. I think it just. I think I was okay. I think uh, I was on my original set of tires, and it was worn by that point, but. Uh. I think, uh, I think I'm happy with how I took care of it on the initial run, so. I guess the goal now has to be beat Gavin, right? 
<laughs> not sure how well I'm going to finish otherwise, but I think it is getting a little better, but it's not even set up for like a 60 lap run. This is like a 80 lap run car. Oh, I think I've got a wall on entry. Just checking uh, my fuel. Sounds like we're good. Got a little bit of draft now. Thank you, Gavin. Help us get those speeds up. I think that's the first time I've heard the limiter this race. Or maybe the first time I've been paying attention. So we got speed going on. Maybe we bump draft him. <laughs> it's just so we can both go fast. Oh no, is that two laps in a row? Entry? I swear I'm not pressing L2 to intimidate. I promise. I'm hitting R2 to share draft. <laughs> so we're in 14th. Now we got a guy in behind us. That'll be another spot. They just, uh. I don't know what. <laughs> Came out of pits, maybe? But they might run us down. The leader's just died at 52.9. Sorry, Andrew. Uh, no, sorry. Oh, we got a big group in front of us up here. That's interesting. That doesn't tell you. I'm underdriving it. I don't know what will. Thank you, sir. Better. I'm overdriving it right now. I don't know. I don't know what I'm driving it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm driving. Where am I? Cameron looks like he's having a handful. He's got a handful of a car under him right now. That's not what I wanted to hear. Water and oil, both hot. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to watch those gauges then. Trying to fight through the loose here. I'm kind of just driving here. I'll probably die off on tires later, but I'm just having some fun with it. We got a lot of cars in front of us. I think we could have a fun time catching up too. I don't know. Very clean race. I've been having a good time. Go on the high side, go. Sorry, I'm trying to give me the high side. You know I'm going to help Gavin. <laughs> Clear him. We can do it. Shake and bake. <laughs> Follow him through. Yes, sir. Maybe not. This guy's still on my outside. Outside. Ken, thank you. Really fair. Respect. Whoa! <laughs> I think he cut up to that 14 real soon. That got sketchy. Oh, I've just been absolutely sent. Whoa. Oh, 
All right. <laughs> this is fun. I'm having a good time. It feels like uh, I'm on a team. <laughs> Griffin Motorsports or something. Let me not be weird. Thank you. Does that guy still need to pit? Oh, oh whoa. Yeah, Suddenly yeah. we've got ourselves a top 10. Potentially. You're in the top 10. Alright. Lots of free advertisement for Gavin's channel. If you have not check <laughs> checked it out yet, then why are you even here? His channel's better than mine. <laughs> Absolutely plaster that all over the screen. Better than Fiji water at the Optimism race. <laughs> Nothing wrong with Fiji water. I'm just rather uh, help out a cool dude than a corporation, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, maybe Fiji water's a cool dude. I don't know. Probably a name you could see on iRacing. There's so many great names on iRacing. I wouldn't be surprised if I came across a guy named Fiji Water. Fiji Speed Water. <laughs> like one, one guy in one of uh, Nick's races recently I saw was named Johnny Speed. I'm like, that is awesome. I couldn't think of a more perfect, like, racing name. I got focus. I hit my marks. All of a sudden, Gavin's getting away from me. We can't have that. I figured it was only a matter of time before we ended up in a race where we're like very similar in speed. Because, like I said, it always yeah. seems like we are. I hope this goes green in the end, by the yeah, way. Finally. Oh, we got someone else that went yeah, long. Right? No. This darn lap car has tricked me multiple times, thinking I'm getting free use. I really didn't have much to lose. <laughs> Keep thinking that I'm getting free stuff. It doesn't look like we have anyone approaching from behind. I thought we might have someone coming up uh, behind us just because of uh, fresher tires and stuff, but. Seems like we're, uh, we don't have anyone approaching, that's nice. It's nice to not have to worry about someone coming up on you from behind. You know, losing time, letting them by, and all that. Alright, coming to 15 to- oh! Gavin, you might just hit the wall. Uh, but coming to 15 to go. Soon. Thank you. Or not soon here, like it literally just happened. Sorry, this is uh, this car. It's kind of hard to even like narrate with this because there's so much yanking of the wheel. Speaking of, I hope, uh, hope I'm not making a bunch of noise with my wheel. I try to get rid of all that in the uh, processing of the audio, but there's a lot of it in this one. Sure. God, I hope I don't fright Gavin if I end up dude trying to make a pass. I would not forgive myself, probably. We're not going to try it until uh, we for sure have like a nose on him, though. Uh, I did too much turn in there. You can tell we're both, we're both fighting, though. The loose. And that counter steer on the exit. It's actually very helpful having them in front of me, because, uh... 
helps me like kind of judge my pace I should be having through the corner and stuff. Very good guide to have. That's generally true. Like anytime you get behind someone, you'll hear most people say like, you know, their pace, their like pace is going up and stuff. Especially like on road courses where you got a lot of different braking points and stuff, it can just like kind of help out to get into the rhythm and everything. Starting to feel that loose on exit again. Nothing too bad though. Whew. I'm gonna have to start being more considerate with my uh, exit speeds. It is starting to step out. Stepping out too much, that's where you can't really fight it off as much. I do, uh, I definitely feel like I overdrove this uh, next. Uh, Thanks, Eleven. I feel like I overdrove this second part of the race. Or at least drove harder than last time, where it's uh, affecting my car a little bit more. Are we catching this 13? I haven't really been paying attention to their 1.5 there. Okay. Trying to be uh, good about hitting my marks. Been good about not hitting uh, hitting the wall this race. These uh these cars, once you get up to like the uh, you know cup cars and everything, even the little taps can do stuff to you. Seems like Gavin's fine though. He's had a couple. I think a lot of those are prediction code. To be fair, so uh, the little taps on entry aren't so bad, but like if you kind of like whack the wall and exit, then okay, that might do some weird aerodynamic stuff. They are approaching 13, I think. 1.4 now. It's very slow. It might not be enough to reach him by the end, but... Oh, wow, that got really tight for a second. Sorry, Ken. Be good. Oh, we're catching up together. Got 10 left to go. I went a little too soft in there. Didn't want to run the back of them, but also just because I, I missed I missed it a little bit. <laughs> I do I do have to do more of these B races though, especially B open. Because uh while I do have my issues, my troubles with this car, it is a lot of fun. Whenever the uh, car just doesn't always get super tight and only tight as the run goes on, but also you get like, you, know, you get some different feelings to it. Wow, this uh, car, this uh, 13 or whatever, must have had some serious issues. Because uh, we gained a lot on them. I wasn't looking at what they were doing. I should be. I should really be looking ahead of me more. I'm mostly looking at like my apex right now, and I should be paying attention ahead of me in case there's a wreck. But Gavin would appreciate me not running into the back of him if there is one. Oh my God, I don't know how I missed you. There's a slow one on the front stretch. Uh, I'm down to the inside, yeah. Oh, no! No! That's awful! We could have green to the end. How could you do this to me? Twenty blaming the car. My controller's broken. So the engine and oil temperature or whatever. Oil and water temperature. They never seem to be an issue, even though the crew chief warned me about it, so. Obviously, you gotta come in here, right? 
right? <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure you have to come in here. Um, I'm not sure everybody will be. So, uh, we'll be heading in. Okay, we passed this lap car. Well, this is what I want. Oh, I hope this doesn't turn into a disaster at the end because of this caution. It's been a great race. We got people staying out. That's bad. I'm gonna do the nick. Just be down here. It doesn't mess with Gavin or anything. Nelson, you pit the I'm let you go. Go ahead. Box now. Oh, okay. Kind of slow on entry, but I didn't want to take any chances with uh, running into anyone or anything. So, 15, are we gonna get a wave around here, do you think, or what? Move it, move it. Should be. What are you doing? What the hell was that? You only have one time. You just swerve around or something? I got loose, sorry. You're good, I was just wondering what that was. Yeah. I got on a little too hard. I thought blocking in pit lane's a new one. Yeah, no, definitely not. No harm done, though. I'm one of those, if you faster, I'm gonna pull over and let you go. <laughs> mm -mm. He seems nice. I understand. Uh, I was kind of pushing it a little bit on throttle there because I noticed last time I was a little slower out of the box, so I pushed it a little more and I could definitely see how you could spin the tires on uh, exit of the pit box. So, like I said, no harm done. I don't think we tapped to like the wall a little bit, but uh, uh, we're going so slow in there. So uh, here's the part where everyone wrecks and we die. I can't remember. It's second gear start, right? Right? <laughs> I think so. So we're starting ninth, right? Got out a little bit faster than Gavin. I, I really hope I didn't mess him up uh, entering the pits. Like I just uh, I didn't want to run into it. I didn't know. I didn't remember where his stall was and. There's just not a big, just disgusting middle wreck in front of us immediately. Middle back, middle back. It'll be exciting though. Hope you got your seatbelt on tight at home. I've got mine wrapped around me. Yeah, we're doing the. <laughs> Staying in one place when this thing goes upside down. I'll see you in a body when I'm in a body cast. Probably. I like I like that 13's like uh their number it reminds me of uh, the Richard Petty kind of uh font. Okay. Let me not be distracted. We got racing to do. Get ready, going green. Let's see to uh the car is off. Be ready. Uh, about as good as I go for, I think. That 13 got a really great start. Nice job I am. You got five to go. 
Dude, what the Bullshit. fuck is shit? Line up, single file. Not what I wanted. Close. Not what anyone that wanted. That was the stupidest fucking thing I've ever seen, man. Come on. <laughs> oh my god, what happened? Why did you try to line up um, you can't take the fucking green flag with a fucking run that's against the rules and are you fucking retarded? That was just stupid uh -oh. on your part. Oh, I got an R word bomb. I'm sorry. So I never passed anyone before the green flag and the only reason I had to run is because we were taking the wave around. You know that as well as I do. You're allowed to catch the field. You can't have speed when you get there. You're not supposed to run anyone over, but you're also supposed to block the guy coming. It sounds like someone was being very you stupid. You were about to take it three wide. Dude, that was just stupid on multiple accounts. And I got chewed out last week for taking a run. You can't actually do that, by the way. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't like you were... That's going to be a fun one to laugh at. Down on the incident reports, it sounds like. Run. It sounds like someone had come into the pits. Drive through him until you block me. This ain't road racing. But... But yeah, thanks for the 4x right at the end. Really fucking appreciate it for <laughs> the last. Yeah, it sounds like uh, he was coming out of the pits and literally no like used to it to get a jump on the start, which was very dirty. Don't do that. <laughs> That's uh. Pit road is now open. It's open. I guess we'll try this again. I think will it be a green white checkered now? Will this count as a green white checkered? This is what I feared. It would go gross at the end because of the caution could have had a nice green flag finish but nah whole hour for green white checkered yay mm -hmm. <laughs> my favorite green white checkers I used to not think about it much but uh, Gavin mentioned I keep talking about um he mentioned that he thinks these shouldn't even have green white checkers. Like, that shouldn't even be a thing in sim racing. I kind of agree with him. Like, that's kind of a thing for the fans, right? Not for the Tell drivers. Because they want, like, a sense of finality in a race. But for the drivers, it's just a, usually a, a huge mess. So I kind of agree. I don't wish we didn't have green white checkers, but. Yeah, no, I look straight. Top of the loop. Oh, I know. I thought some dude tried to get on the donut from the shared away until Tasha came out. Ah, uh, yeah, it looked like the dot was stopped for quite a while. Nice to have a track map to catch all that stuff. We'll be starting in the same spot because nothing really changed. Except that 13. Good monster start. I think it went from tenth to seventh on that restart. That was pretty, pretty good. <clears throat> Ten, uh, getting there. Waiver or not the way around the lucky dog, I believe. Good job, now. Got all the way back. I think I'd be happy with the top ten, especially now that uh, it could get dangerous. I feel like we could go up a couple more spots. I feel like I have pretty good short run pace, but. I'm not gonna run anyone over for it, you know. Doo -doo -doo. All right. So this is a green white checkered. Okay. One to go. Next time by, you'll be lining up. Is that it normally? Yeah. Uh, had that green white checkered symbol on the top left sooner, but get three of them in open races, as opposed to the single green white checkered in fixed races. So this has a chance of really going downhill, but let's be positive. <laughs> This will be the only one we need, right? Be good. Oh, that's why it looks like Richard Petty's logo. It's because it's literally what his scheme is about. Well, that would make sense, huh? Hey, again, right behind us now. Was he behind us before? He might have been. Extra incentive not to ruin my uh, 
my jump off the start here because it's gonna mess with him too. Colton, put that thing in a different gear, blow my ear jumps out. Ah. There you go. Fourth gear start for everyone. Just kidding. <laughs> I was just do away with this shit. Screw my checker. Like every race and every series. And people are like, when are stages coming? I'm like, God, you guys already make it stages. If you can't use your tires right, you just crash every 20 laps. Go green, stay focused. All right, here we go. The pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. Oh, not taking it three wide. I don't care if it's green white checkered. Two more. I want to survive. Not want to be on the outside, but that's where I ended up now, isn't it? Stay high to the car on the low side. Clear, car inside. Still there at the bottom. Clear inside. Alright, it's sweaty mode, sweaty mode! Oh my god! Put my pants mode. Sixteen's getting in the wall. White flag this time. Car outside. Shoot, I'm sorry. Outside. Outside. Oh man, I'm sorry. That was terrible. Oh, frick. Ah, fuck. Dang it. Yeah, you gotta get run going next to this stuff. Man, I keep being terrible lately. Yeah. I think I got damage. That was expensive too. God, I suck. Seventh position. Okay, that's the end. Good finish, Michael. No. Great job. Now any good really feeling well. I had is gone. Man. Yeah, hung on, Martin. Fifteen, my bad, my friend. I uh, I am sorry that happened. I didn't think I had that much of a run on you, and I really didn't think that I didn't give you enough room, so I do apologize. Oh, boy. Well, thank you for apologizing. That's cool. That's cool, Colton. I, I appreciate the apology. Thank you. Uh, man, I hate that that happened, man. It's I just I was breaking a little later. Man, I'm so sorry. <sighs> so it's all good. Racing. <laughs> Go figure. All right, well, we'll get to the incidents here. I don't want to waste uh, everyone's time. feel bad about myself. Uh, let's uh, get to the incidents real quick before I start crying. <laughs> At least the guy was understanding. Oh, boy. All right, I'm going to be reviewing that a little bit more later for sure. Um, incidents. A bit better of a, an angle here. What's wrong with my keyboard? Why can't I do incidents? Is something. 
it's like a caps lock thing, number lock thing. What's going on? This is weird. Okay. Like, it won't do the incidents. Let me make sure my... Like, are my controls weird? I'm sorry. Let me try to be quick about this. Okay. Cat toggle. What? I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on. I guess we can't do incidents, so we'll just look at the uh, final thing there. It's just Greenway Checkers, man. I'm so worried about being the problem. Yeah, it wasn't even, like, inside him. I was like... Mm. He just braked a little earlier than I expected, and... Oh, my God. Okay. How, did he... Was he able to save it at all? People. There's more people affected. Shoot. All right. Well, I'm going to go now and just feel sorry for myself for a while. It was a good race with Gavin. Uh, but uh, at least it was fun before then, and I hope it was enjoyable to watch. I don't really know what else to say about that. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, I'll see you next time.